The economy, taxes, and each candidate's record were just a few of the many topics discussed at the News Journal's Wilmington mayoral debate held Wednesday night at the Murphy Theater. Incumbent Democrat Mayor David Risk is being challenged by Republican Randy Riley, currently a Clinton County Commissioner. With questions being asked by News Journal publisher Pamela Stricker and editor Dan Liggett, Risk talked about why he wanted another term as mayor. It would have been easy for me to walk away at the end of my third term. I think I have served uh, the community faithfully since 1981 as a public service, first as safety director, then for 16 years as president of city council, and then for the last 12 years as your mayor. In that 12 years, we've done a lot of great things with this community. Why am I running again? Well, I feel there's a lot of unfinished business to do. And Riley explained why he was up for the challenge. It's time for change. It's time for someone else to step up and say, I can do, I can do things different. Uh, I retired from the hospital in 2002. I can do this full time. I can be in my office anytime anybody wants me. I can be there early. I can stay there late. And I will not have another full-time job that takes me away from the mayoral duties. And that's something that uh, the city of Wilmington has had for a long time. In addition to discussing their hard work ethic, when it comes to what sets each one apart, Riley said he is a fiscal conservative. Is I believe that we really need to, to be much more conservative with the, the dollars that we spend. And it, I'm not just talking about local dollars, but also state dollars and federal dollars. Uh, Riz countered by saying that, though a Democrat, he has not been a tax and spend mayor. Yes, I'm a Democrat. But I'm obviously not a tax and spend Democrat. I've never raised taxes in all the time that I've been mayor. I've never thought about it, never want to do it, and never would do it. With regard to job creation, both candidates said that work towards new employment opportunities are vigorously being pursued. I believe that we could act faster. I wish we had more uh, interest in creating new jobs. But what I can tell you is what we have been doing is laying the ground so that as this economy turns around, Wilmington will be at the top of the heap. We have been working together on exploring every avenue of job creation, and, and, and I, I really get tired of telling people, boy, we're close. We have, we have a lot of jobs in the pipeline. For even further coverage of Wednesday's debate, be sure and pick up a copy of Thursday's Wilmington News Journal.